Another lame <laughs> executive corporate decision. Another example of how millennials ruin everything. Yeah, another example of idiot CEOs. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Neil Winteregg with Matterhorn Business Development and I am joined as always by Dr. Greg Winteregg, CEO of Matterhorn Business Development. And this week we have an episode of The Newsroom. Oh boy. It has been a little while since we did a newsroom, I will be honest, because finding news topics of business that they're are actual lame. news and not boring <laughs> is very hard. But I found an article that yesterday I thought was lame and boring. And then after looking through all the other areas of business news, this was the best one I found. <laughs> and I suddenly liked so, it more. So, so you're counting on me to make it interesting. No, no, I actually think it is interesting. Oh, okay, it's good. just, that's how bad the other Because I have no that. idea what he's about to lay out here. <laughs> so before we get on to this, uh, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel below. We like to talk every week about different content about business, etc. And without further ado, um, I found an article on LinkedIn that says the end of an era in Amtrak travel. So train travel. I thought that ended a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, the train is fun. I like going on the Amtrak. I do too if the train's in Europe. But <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I do the Amtrak a couple times a year. But um, it says Amtrak is ending its dining service on long distance trains, swapping its traditional dining cars for a more contemporary experience. The carrier- Does that mean they're gonna have McDonald's? No. No, okay. that would not be good. The carry attributes the change to its ongoing efforts to save money and to attract a younger generation of riders who aren't jonesing to chow down with strangers on a train. Okay. Okay. So I clicked onto another article with the Washington Post, and basically Amtrak is saying that they're getting rid of their dining car. Okay. Which, by the way, is the only exciting thing about going on an Amtrak train. Right. You actually get to walk up, go to the dining car get some terrible food, but you get to eat it in a kind of different ambiance. Yeah, you see the, by, you know? yeah. The other thing is that every time I've been into the dining car, it's completely packed. Oh. There's always a line. Okay. But they're saying that they're getting rid of it. They're saying, somebody named Peter, who oversees Amtrak's customer service says, some people really like the dining car and view it as a sort of a nostalgic train experience. I'm included in that. Okay. Some people, especially our new millennial customers, don't like it so much. They want more privacy. They don't want to feel uncomfortable sitting next to people they don't know. <laughs> oh my. I don't want to feel uncomfortable sitting next to people I don't know. Then take a car! <laughs> They're already on your train. So this is Amtrak's money grab and they're disguising it by saying that millennials ruin everything. That's exactly what's going on. They don't have the balls to come out and say that the dining car doesn't make as much money as an actual car of people does, so right. we're gonna replace it. <laughs> and blame the millennials. And blame the millennials, because why not? <laughs> Global warming on the, on the millennials, this on the millennials, you know. Millennials ruin everything. No, your poor policies ruin everything. So I got upset about this because like I said, the dining car is the only great thing about going on a train. Agreed. And to say that millennials don't like talking to people is an absolute joke. And to say that millennials uh, don't want to experience things with other people is an absolute joke. Mm -hmm. Because look at festivals like Burning Man and all these things. It's millions of people getting together who don't know each other yep. and take their clothes off. So <laughs> I don't understand why we can't eat a cheese plate on a train with strangers. <laughs> Um, are you suggesting that they have a car where you can get naked? No, <laughs> that would be terrible. <laughs> I'm just saying, to say that millennials don't like talking to strangers is an absolute joke. It's a cop out. It's a total cop out. It's a cop out. And all they're saying is that we don't know how to run a dining car anymore. Well, and I think, I think there, the effect of saying that we have to raise our prices so we can actually make a profit on this and then somebody will come after them because yeah. they're a huge company trying to make profit, But it's just ridiculous. It's, it is stupid. To say that like, you it's don't like, want to eat your food next to somebody you don't know, then don't take a train. Like, you are, that is what well, you are. But that's obviously, you're exactly right. It's obviously a lame excuse. <laughs> And it's, again, it goes back to management. It goes back to the executive just not being honest. That they're, they're just not being honest. I think it comes down to two things. Either they're not honest and they just can't say the real reason why they're getting rid of the, the car, right. right? Or 
they're dumb enough to listen to one or two people who complained about right. sitting next to a stranger right. in the dining car. So I haven't been on one of those trains in years. So I take two or three a year. Okay. Depending on and where, where, where are you going from? Like DC to New York or DC, Philly? Arlington to Philly. I've done some New York to Boston. Years ago, I actually did New York City to Buffalo, which was like a seven or eight hour ride. Okay, so when you I've get gotten, on these trains, yeah. the dining car is always full. Always full. And that's like, like everybody wants to know where the dining car is. Like yeah. everybody on the train, you'll see people wandering this way yeah. and that way. Which way is the dining car? And then I'm car? like, are you looking for the dining car? <laughs> They're like, yeah, which way is? I'm like, it's that way. So I have a really unique, outrageous idea for Amtrak mm -hmm. survey. Why not just go up and down, just hire one person, just go up and down the car, yeah. the cars on every train and say, would you use the dining car? And you can even have a sample menu, you can yeah. have a price range, because this is ridiculous. There, I know, and, it does say in the article that they're going for a contemporary thing. I don't know what that means, it didn't well, elaborate. Guess what? Eating food will always be <laughs> contemporary. <laughs> True? Eating food is contemporary. Yeah, but yeah, I have to have... Eating food was contemporary for the caveman. <laughs> well, you know over here we have like the phone pods where you yeah. go in by yourself. Yeah. You have to have a food pod where you go in <laughs> and you can eat without can the eat glares of other people. Without other people. Staring at you. No, I think this is lame. I, I agree with a, you. This is lame. If it, if they it's actually, and, and you and I have talked about this before, it yeah. is atrocious service yeah it's atrocious customer service yeah and if people want to eat then they can go to the dining car if people want to be quiet then they can go into the quiet car okay you so know the other gonna, stupid we're, thing yeah you can take your food from the dining car to your seat and eat at your seat hmm so so do they you, it's not like no food yeah. or drinks past this point like people are sitting there drinking all sorts of stuff and eating all sorts of stuff at, at their seat yeah. So to so, say that like, oh, well, I don't want to eat next to a stranger. Well, you know, the problem is all you millennials. That's the problem. I ruined it again. <laughs> it's all my fault. I guess, you know, for me to kind of wrap this into a bundle is it's about customer service. Yeah. And before you make a major decision like this, you'd want a survey. Yeah. A, a couple of years ago, I was working with a restaurant owner and he was all into, um, organic this and organic that, and sausage just wasn't organic enough. Right. But it was one of his more popular items, and I was there the day he changed the menu and pulled the sausage. What was it, sausage pizza or sausage? Yeah, it was a sausage wrap. Okay, a wrap, okay. Yeah. And he had, he had it a couple different ways, and in the morning he did the sausage with the breakfast. And okay. I'm standing there watching people come in, and like, so I'm with the sausage blah blah, and he's like, no, we don't have sausage, and they're like, what? <laughs> so it's like, you know, it's about customer service. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. And this is not This isn't customer, customer service. service. I, I'd like something to hear from, else. I'd like to hear from yeah, other people. Give us who, some comments on this. Who maybe this take is, the train more ridiculous. than I do. Because I think that um, the dining car was a great place to be able to get up out of your seat and actually go to. Yeah. In fact, there was times where people I, I would go back and forth the dining car on a long trip. There was people who just literally sat in the dining car the whole time. Yeah. Like with their stuff out or whatever. So mm -hmm. I don't know. I think it's kind of ridiculous. Now, it does say they're going to do something contemporary. I, I don't know exactly what that means. I mean, I, I don't know how you can get rid of the dining car. It's a train. People have to eat. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand. Another I lame <laughs> executive corporate decision. Another example of how millennials ruin everything. Yeah, another example of idiot CEOs. So anyway, that's my thoughts on this. Thanks for joining us today. We'll hopefully see you next time on the newsroom. In the meantime, go back through some of our other newsroom topics. We have a newsroom playlist for you. We've got some really good and funny stuff in there, and I hope you enjoy some of that. And leave your comments below telling me about Amtrak and whether or not you agree. Do you also hate eating next to strangers, or do you think that it is something else? We'll see you next time. But we won't see you on the dining car. No, it's gone. <laughs> Disconnected, like the old cartoons, you know, where they like disconnect the car and the train drives off. <laughs> Have a good one.